The Big House 7 is slated to be one of the last big events of the Melee It On Me year, which means it's one of the last opportunities for players to either solidify their resume for the year or make that last push to make it in the top 100. This series also has a remarkable history that I covered in depthly in my History of the Big House, which covers the big stories from the first six events, but if you want a briefer outline, you can check out my History by the Numbers episode on the Big House, which mainly looks just at placings. But let's turn our eyes back to this year's event and see what storylines you should be looking out for this weekend. First off, we have Hungrybox, who's coming off his amazing win at GTX over Armada, who he's now 3-3 with for the year. And although there's still a significant gap, there's a small chance that Hungrybox might be able to catch up to Armada's rank this year if he finishes off the year strong. With both GTX and Smash and Splash under his belt, along with a bunch of smaller events like Shine, Hungrybox is only one super major away from Armada, who has Genesis, Evo, and Summit. But there are a handful of people who can keep Hungrybox from getting to Armada, with the most notable one being Mango, who has always been Hungrybox's personal demon and is the only member of the top 50 who he has a losing record against. Hungrybox did beat Mango in their last two sets at Shine, but this does not mean he'll take prep lightly for this set. And even if Hungrybox beats Armada and takes the whole event, he's still got a whole lot of work to do if he wants to be considered 2017's best player. Next, we've got to highlight some of Michigan's hometown heroes who are looking to defend their turf at the Big House. First, we have Michigan's number one PR player who has a shot to win a trip at Summit at the event, Duck. He's projected to lose to Drug Fox at the start of Top 64, but he won their last meeting, so there's a very real possibility he'll move on to face Mewtwo King, who he hasn't recently beaten. Duck then has a very tough but doable projected road through losers of players who perform well at GTX, but if the Big House's bracket is anything like GTX's, it's going to be quite tough to predict the loser's bracket he'll have to face. Then we have another top 30 player who has the potential to make a run of the event, KJH. KJH has had some lower placings recently with Cyrox, another Fox main who's only 3 spots behind him on the summer rankings, knocking him both out of Shine and SmashCon. So for KJH, the Big House is going to be about beefing up his resume, which is going to have to happen in losers, as if he's able to beat Amza Sheik in pools, he then has SFAT to face in the top 64. And sadly, his first projected matchup in losers is his training partner and third place on the Michigan PR, Ginger, which means one of their best players at the event will end here. Well, that is if Ginger isn't able to make a few upsets in pools. He's projected to fight Zane to get in the top 64, which is going to be a tough upset for him to make, but far from impossible. If not though, there are still some good players like Reeve and Uncle Mojo who he can add to his already impressive resume for the year. If you want to learn more about Ginger, I did a full video on him after his amazing showing at SmashCon, so click the top right corner for it. And lastly, we have fourth on Michigan's PR, Samus Main Morse Code, who's looking to make a name for himself at Michigan's biggest event. However, he's got a pretty tough road into Top 64 with two big up-and-comers, Zealous 5000 and Absent Page, in his way to making it there. And before we wrap up this video, we have to touch on the summit invite that is up for grabs at the event. GTX appeared all but locked up for Wizzy or West going into the event, but Plup, Leffen, and Chu's early losses helped give Shroom a clean path into top 8 and to his summit ticket. I think this tells us a lot about who we should be looking at when looking for potential summit invites. We need to look for someone who has the potential to make it farthest on winner's side. In winner's round 2, S2J is Plup. Drug Fox has Mewtwo King, Wizzy has Axe, Lucky has Armada, and Nun or Swedish has Hbox, which are the most part unwinnable for most of these players. But Westballs is projected to play Leffen, who he could realistically beat because of his recent slumps, or might not even face if Leffen loses the Heartstrings, Rocky, or Discid Boogie. Then being dropped in the losers by Mango, he'd just have to beat Wizzy, Lucky, or Swedish to essentially secure his summit spot. So I'm going to agree with Tafo and say that West will take the summit spot. My predictions have been a bit shaky since my preview of the SmashCon video, but I feel good about this one, which is something I know I'm probably going to regret when West gets like 17 at the event. And that's about it for this preview to the Big House 7. There's a ton of other players you should be looking out for, like MDVA who showed up huge at SmashCon, so Zane, Rishi, Lod. They showed up really big at SmashCon, as I said before, so I'm hoping for at least one of them to go on a crazy run through losers, or maybe Zane could... Zane's got a potential bracket, he's in the same area that West is, if he can beat West and then possibly beat Leffen because he's already beaten Leffen for, Zane can make a very serious run at the event. And also Amza, both of them, uh, the Sheik and the Red Yoshi, he had a he beat Plup at GTX, so he's got a real good shot of making another good run and possibly pushing him higher up in the top 50. He's definitely top 50 for the year, but exactly where he's going to fall is still up for debate. 
And then other players like Kirby Kaze, Absent Page, Abate, and Toussaint are other players I think you should be looking out for as well. And to continue on this wrap up, I just want to remind you about the Big House history videos. I'm going to put them on the end card slide. Really interesting, the Big House is a very storied event. And there's a lot of cool storylines that happened before, such as Mango only winning the even big houses that he went to, so there's that potential, is he going to win Big House 7 going into that, along top of all the stories that are going on. So check those out, they're really interesting. Uh, also, you can go over to Patreon if you really like these videos, you can get them early, or you can vote on a potential topic uh, every month for a video to do. And also follow me over on Twitter to get uh, video previews for, I usually like preview stuff like that, like all the Michigan players, I put out those stat pages early. And also, I'm going to be at the big house, so if I like tweet out that I'm playing friendlies or something like that, you can get in on that and buddy my sad, sad bronze falco out the big house. But I think that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited for the big house, and I hope I'll see you there. And I've been Saves Untitled, and I will see you guys next time.